Chamath Palihapitiya. He really put it down, man. Like he was just like, you need to get him on your channel because I think he's a, he's somewhat of a woke individual. As far as these stock buybacks and dividends, he essentially said that this is we're we're giving the money to the wrong people. Why are we bailing out the people that live in the Hamptons and you know have mega yachts and all of this stuff? We need to stop the whole buy, you know, stock buyback thing and, and allowing them to do that. What are your thoughts about stock buybacks? And um, especially in the case with Boeing, right? Boeing is a, is a perfect case. Uh, a lot of the uh, airlines, perfect cases where they spent over the last 10 years billions of dollars on buybacks. And now they want us to bail them out. Are, are we st finally waking up? And is, is Chamath one of the, like... Uh, things that uh, Wall Street needs to hear. Right. No, I know the clip. I saw the clip. And uh, there was a moment of, of uh, clarity on, on news there. But Finally. there won't be any any follow-up to it. You know, mm -hmm. Apple Computer just announced some $50 billion stock repurchase, stock buyback. I saw that. So for maybe three or four days, people are like, oh, boo-hoo, we have to stop all this buybacks. Right? Buybacks up until just a 20 years ago so were illegal for obvious yep. reasons it's yep. it's uh, manipulation and it was only made possible to give companies a way to fabricate earnings that don't mm -hmm. exist right i mean if you take away stock buybacks earnings for the s p 500 are reduced dramatically and therefore the price earnings multiple would be much higher and therefore the stock market would be a lot lower mm -hmm. but you know this is all about taking the entire economy private as part of the casino gulag model that I've talked about for many years. It's interesting that people are now sheltered at home behind plexiglass walls. That's the gulag part. And they're on the internet trying to uh, play games and click on ads to win a protein pill. That's the casino. Mm. So that's been coming for years now. And I see that now really coming into coming to, to pass. It's coming into view. But as far as uh, the comments that were made on CNBC and the discussion that followed for a day or two, you know, it makes people feel good like they're having this conversation, but it won't change anything. It can't change anything because you can't taper a Ponzi scheme, right? You, you can't, I mean, to, to suddenly stop stock buybacks. And by the way, they will continue. It's guaranteed, but they might be called something different. They'll rename them. They'll rechristen them. They won't call them stock buybacks. Just like Green mailers and hostile raiders of the 1980s became activist investors, you know, in the 2020s. Uh, you know, every every financial scam on Wall Street is always every 10 or 15 years repackaged and called something else. But it's always the same scam. There's only three or four scams you can do. So they have to keep changing the name so that people fall for them again and again and again. So stock buybacks will not go anywhere. They will be accelerated. They have to be accelerated or, or the stock market will go down and people will demand that there, it goes up again. Right. So uh, that's not going to change. But for a couple of days, people, it, you know, it was, um, you know, it was uh, virtue signaling. Right. So mm -hmm. CNBC and the sky were virtue signaling for a day or two. Like, I have virtues. This is what I, this is what this is what the truth is. And they're like, oh, that's so great. You're right, you know, oh, yeah. And then they forgot about it. They would be completely forgotten about. Um, remember Dylan Radigan? You know, on, um, for a year or so, he was ringing the alarm. You know, the market's crooked. Businessmen are crooked. We need to get right. And everyone was like, you're so correct, you know, and I feel better listening to you. But then they booted him off the him. air. Yeah, I don't yeah he's off the anymore. air. He got All fired. Right, that's, that's what I thought. He, he got fired. If you want to see more videos and interviews like this from influential people in tech, finance, and sports, subscribe to the channel and make sure you hit the bell to be alerted. And go a step further and join the YouTube and membership area for early releases of videos like this. I'm out of here. Ha!